joined by Whitey Rigsby as well. So, Cale, we'll talk a little bit about Providence makes that run. You guys had that 14-point halftime lead. Providence comes out knocking down threes from everywhere, it seemed. And they get the game down to two, and then you have a nice little eight-point uh, eight run for the Cats. Talk about your mindset and then some of those opportunities you had. Well, my mindset was just coming out and standing on the attack, staying aggressive. We know how uh, those teams play Colin and Justin. They play them so tight. So that leaves opportunities for myself, Jermaine, Slate, even E. So now we just have to be aggressive and stay on attack and make those plays. And then late in the game, is there? You, they seem to kind of have an answer for everything you guys are doing. And then you go to the line, knock down four big free throws. Um, obviously, you've been a good free throw shooter all year. That's a big spot in the game. Uh, you just go up there and, and you practice these a lot, and that's your mindset? Yeah, practice them every day. Um, no reason to feel any pressure. Um, I just want to step up and make the play for my brothers. And um, if that's making a free throw, getting a stop, getting a rebound, I'm um, just stepping up in those moments and knocking shots down or getting a rebound, that's what matters the most. Caleb, you're a guy who probably started most of your life, right? Now you're coming off the bench. Uh, do you have a, is it easier for you or harder for you coming off the bench? Because sometimes I think coming off the bench can be a good thing because you can kind of see what's going on in the game, see where the openings are. I think it's easier. Yeah, like you just said, you can see the openings on the court. You can see what's going on. You can get a feel for how the game is. And also, you can just come in and set a different tone as well. And you know you're going to play. You know you're going to play starter-type minutes. So what's the difference whether you start or, or come off the bench? I feel like there isn't a difference in my, how I look at it because I'm playing starter minutes. I'm always out there. I'm constantly relied on. So um, I kind of like it. Hey, go ahead. I'm sorry. Wait. But just to make your point, you know, Colin played 37 minutes, and Caleb was second with 30 minutes on. So you play the second most amount of minutes on the team. If you're, quote, unquote, the sixth man or the fourth man or the third man, you're a very valuable part of this team. And I think your teammates know, and obviously Coach Wright knows it. Yes, sir. No, Caleb, okay, also, and I, often in, with this team, this team is a shorter team. I'm not going to say a small team, a shorter team. Often you're getting matched up uh, defensively, especially rebounding-wise, against Horkler, against uh, Watson, against some big guys. But you have a pretty thick body. You manage to keep them off. Do you pride yourself on your rebounding? I'm a, I'm a former guard who liked to rebound, so I like guards that rebound. <laughs> hey, you have to. We're smaller, so we got to be tougher, right? I think I try so. I to use my frame, and I just try to be tougher and ward them out whenever I can. How do you feel going into the remainder of the season now? We have obviously you guys, I understand I was at practice for now. You always talk about next game, but okay, right beyond that, you're locked into the two spot in the NCAA tournament now. Good time to get on a run. Um, for sure. If that's how y'all want to look at it, but of course, you know how we look at it. No, is. I don't want to hear. Dwayne just told me that next game stuff on the post game show on radio. I want to hear about who you know. I'm just kidding. I know. I know that's you guys approaching. You have to. And, and, and you play that way. You, you play that way, and all your teammates play that way. You play next play. You don't even play next game. It's the next play. And uh, Steve and I have watched you guys for years, our team for years, and admire that sentiment very much. Sir, congratulations. Yep. Great win. And Thank Kale, you. Thank one you. One thing I want, one more question for you. You guys come off that really tough loss at UConn, the, the couple plays late in the game don't go your way what did you guys work on this week you had an opportunity finally I think Justin and Colin got to practice a little bit more what were you guys working on you finally had a, a stretch of time to practice as you head into your last regular season game against Butler what did you work on this week I think the the number one thing we worked on was just our concepts and uh basically our players and just getting another feel for each other um you know in a UConn game there were a couple of plays where we were kind of rough concept wise so we just wanted to sharpen up and just get those guys some reps as well and just to come back together again and in closing, I, I, I take, uh, I feel great pride in the end of the game. You're coming that ball. You want to go take those free throws, and that's a, a sign of confidence, a sign of quality play. The cuts you were making to the ball, I was one. It was, I was kind of down in this corner watching. One time they grabbed Colin. I'm thinking, oh, where are we going to get it? And you made a hard cut, came and got the basketball, and knocked down two free throws. Congratulations. Thank you. Sir. Another, another great Wildcat guard wears number 14, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hubie White, Hubie White, and Caleb Daniels. Exactly. Very similar. Very similar. Well, Caleb, we appreciate you taking some time to join us. We're going to take